So the recent price increase has been predominantly due to the uh, reduction in fame subsidy. Mm. So that has been the reason why the, the end consumer, consumer prices have gone up. But in our case actually we have really not factored that into the pricing. Mm. So we want to position our motorcycle slightly at a premium level where it offers that premium experience to customers and therefore the customer will be able to pay that price for what we are offering. So therefore our uh, overall pricing structure does not really include any subsidies accounted for. So therefore I don't think uh, we will have any impact uh, uh, because of this reduction at this stage. So, so right now the product that we are bringing out today uh, is not targeted towards the 100cc customers. This is, this is targeted towards the 150cc and above customers. Mm. So those customers already have an affinity towards uh, high-end, uh, let's say, uh, motorcycles or the performance uh, motorcycles. So therefore, therefore, uh, I mean, of course, this price reduction, while it has Im impacted the entry-level uh, consumers, mm. but for the Premium consumers, I don't think uh, uh, it will have a major uh, issue. And uh, the other thing is, even even with the price reduction in scooters also, actually if you see, the two months average, if you, if you have to look at, actually uh, June alone, standalone, it looks huge drop. But that's primarily because there's a lot of pre-buying that happened in May. Right, actually in May, if you compare with April, the EV industry has gone up by 58 percent, mm. while the two-wheeler industry has gone up only by 10 percent, mm. right? So because there is a huge spike that happened in the month of May because of the expected fame reduction, in June there is a sharp decline. Mm. But actually if you look at these two months together, it is still almost 14 percent growth over April. Whereas the industry growth is only 3%. Right. So, what I mean is the intrinsic demand is still there. Only thing is, because of the fame to reduction, a lot of pre-buying that happened. Right. So, that is why you find a sharp decline. So, therefore, you cannot expect that this will be the base. So, this will, this will definitely be better in the coming months. Of course, you will have an impact because of the price reduction. But how much impact is something that we will have to wait and see. These new launches by, let's say, the global players in the last week. Uh, so these things definitely will, will make the high-end space, the premium space much more, uh, uh, in the sense, it will open up the opportunity in that high-end space. Because already there are enough players there, but now with these two global players are also global brands coming into that space, it will become much more interesting. So it will actually expand the opportunity in our view. And when that opportunity opens up, EVs will get the opportunity for penetration. Okay. Right. Because when the overall IC opportunity is actually expanding, uh, that's what I was explaining in my speech also. In India, the the 150cc adoption is actually increasing, hmm. right? So, and and with these new players coming, these are all clear, uh, and not just these two players. Actually, in the last uh, four or five years, if you see, there has been a lot of new launches happening in that space, right? So, which clearly means that space is really growing. When that space is growing, definitely for EV players, particularly the the early place you will have enough opportunity to to grab is what uh, we are very quite confident so i mean uh, we we don't want to call them as super bikes mm -hmm. but we actually have a reference of let's say 200 250 cc bikes okay mm -hmm. i mean 150 is any day uh, i mean it's a, it's a uh, first level that i would say but 200 250 cc segment no so our motorcycle performance uh, will be better than the 200-250cc motorcycles available today. So that is how our technology and the kind of uh, uh, performance parameters that we have been working on are all to ensure that they exceed the current IC performance of these players, the 200-250cc players. So therefore, 
that will offer a better riding experience for the consumers and therefore we are, we are that is exactly what we are targeting that segment is what we are targeting so that will become a, an upgrade option for the 150 cc customers since our performance is going to be comparable with 250 cc customers for 150 cc customers this becomes a clear upgrade option in terms of uh, the performance and all uh, aspects I mean, we are we are preparing everything from our end to to uh, launch uh, in the month of uh, December uh, from a product perspective and the supplier side. So all that we are quite lined up, and we'll be, we'll be I mean, we are very confident that we'll be able to launch by uh, December.